most people fail their driving test on left turns let me tell you after going through this section right here when we cover the general mistakes and the critical errors after going through this section you will say left turns are very easy because I am going to point every single pretty much every single thing and it will make total sense to you and you will say oh yeah left turns you know when you go for your driving test they will be very clear in your mind you should know when to establish when to clear the intersection which lane you're supposed to take in everything so stay tuned a lot of good information is coming your way we are going to look at the general errors first and um, then uh, we will look at the critical errors now I think uh, the whole section general errors and critical error it will be about like maybe about an hour about an hour um, because that's a lot of a um, lot of you know different uh, intersections for left turns lot of uh, different situations that I want to point out to you guys so when you guys go for your driving test you're gonna find the left turn super easy alright so let's get started the first uh, general error is on uh, your signal so if you're turning left you are supposed to have a left signal on if you have a right signal on that's gonna be a general error the second general error is your signal is missing so you don't have any signal on guys if you're making any directional changes even if you are in a lane like a designate, uh, designated left turning lane you still have to put the left signal on the next uh, general mistake is on uh, your signal is too late or too soon now technically your signal should be on about 30 meters before the intersection you want to turn on the next uh, general mistake is uh, signaling through intersection now a lot of people they don't understand what's that mean okay so signal through intersection is let's say you have two intersections uh, close to each other so in this example here let me show you so if you look we have a side street on the left side here so we got this side street here and then uh, we have traffic lights after that so we got side street and now we have traffic lights so if your examiner asks you to turn left so let's say your examiner say okay we are turning left at the traffic light and if you put the signal on before the side street here it's misleading because people might think that you're turning left uh, on this residential street instead of turning left on the traffic lights the next uh, general error is uh, your speed approaching to the intersection as I mentioned earlier in the stop sign section your speed like it depends on the road condition and the weather condition so if you're going a little bit um, fast for the condition not too fast just a little fast same thing if you're going a bit slow um, then it, then it's a general mistake if you're going too fast for the conditions or if you're going like too slow um, that means you're gonna if you're going too slow you interfere with the traffic uh, then it becomes a critical error the next uh, general mistake is uh, you're stopping too hard um, so when you're making a full stop let's say your light is red just like this when you come to a complete stop it has to be like a smooth stop okay if you're slamming on the brakes um, that's gonna be a general error and it could be a critical error um, if you're pressing on the brake too hard without any reason because that means um, the guy behind you he might not have um, you know enough time to um, stop so it, it depends on the situation it could be a critical or it could be a general uh, mistake the next uh, general error is uh, you're going over the stop line or sidewalk so if you see a stop line then you want to make a full stop if the light is red you will make a full stop before the stop line just like in this example here we have a stop line and we are making a full stop before the stop line so the front bumper of your car it should not go over the stop line now not all the intersections have stop lines if you don't see a stop line then you stop before the side walk the next general error is you're too far from the center of the street so if you look uh, right now I'm staying closer to the yellow line here because I'm turning left if I'm too far from the yellow line or in other words if I'm too close to this white line on the right side that's gonna be a general error 
the next general mistake is you're going too fast uh, when you're turning so same thing your speed depends on the road condition uh, weather condition it also depends on the situation that you have so if you're going too fast while you're turning that means your turn might be wide or you might not have a uh, good control over the car um, if your turn is wide when you're going too fast um, that's a general error, but if you're losing control over over your car, then uh, then it becomes a critical error. And we will look at the critical errors in more detail when we look at the critical error um, section. So right now we are just covering the general mistakes in the left turns. The next uh, general mistake is uh, hesitation. Now, if you hesitate a little bit, that's a general. But if there's a lot of hesitation, then it becomes a critical. So now hesitation let's say you are in the middle of the intersection so you established you are uh, observing traffic and when you see a big opening between the traffic that time you should be going so for example here like after this taxi now the next car is too far so that means um, i'm good to go if i don't go at that time uh, that means i'm hesitating and uh, small hesitation is a general mistake now if i have opportunity to go like you know two three times uh, and if I'm still not going uh, then it becomes a critical error okay so if you hesitate one time that's okay uh, if but if you hesitate again and again um, then it becomes a critical error now for the next uh, general mistake uh, I'm just gonna use this um, sketch um, to explain this general error is uh, you're going too far in the intersection so what i mean by that is uh, when you're turning left when you're turning left you have to stay on the left side of the intersection if you're going too far in the intersection if you're going on the right side of the intersection um, it depends like how far you go in the intersection uh, sometimes it's a general mistake but it can also become a critical error if you start interfering with other traffic so a lot of people what they do they like to draw a line this way okay so now when you're turning left you don't want to cross this line okay so technically you should be turning like this okay so you're staying on the left side of the intersection here on this side you're staying closer to the yellow line now let's say instead of going like that if you take your turn like this so now this means you are going too far in the intersection all right um, so that's a general mistake now again it could be a critical error if you at the same time if someone else from the other side they are turning left uh, they're not gonna have enough room uh, then it becomes a critical error and we will look at that in detail uh, in the critical error section okay folks uh, so in this video we are going to look at the uh, critical errors uh, when we turn left at traffic lights the first uh, critical error is a uh, wrong lane so if I'm turning left I always have to stay closer to the center of the street um, so in this example if you notice so here I'm going to change lane because this lane I don't see any sign indicating that I can go left from this lane so <coughs> So that means this lane is only to go straight. So if I'm turning left, I have to go in the left turning lane. And if I don't do that, that's going to be an automatic fail in the driving test. So uh, here we have another example. Um, now we are turning left. So that means we should be staying closer to the yellow line, something similar to this. Now let's say for whatever reason if you're too far from the yellow line if you're stopping like this. Um, now this one uh, it will be automatic fail because uh, you're too far from the lines more than 3 feet. You're leaving a lot of space on the left side and somebody gonna come there. Uh, maybe a cyclist, motorcycle or sometimes even you never know maybe there's another car trying to squeeze in. Um, then, um, then it becomes... Uh, critical error because now you can't go left anymore so let's look at some real life examples so right now we we are just on a basic intersection we are approaching uh, to this intersection here there is a yellow line in the middle 
so I'm staying closer to the yellow line and after that if the light is red then we just stop before the stop line so here we have another example we are approaching uh, to the intersection for the left turns uh, this time we have a divider in the middle so we are staying closer to the divider we got two lanes uh, on this side here right so we are staying in the left lane uh, closer to the divider on the left side here we have another example now this one we are on a one-way street we are going to turn left and we are staying in the first uh, in the left lane here and uh, this black sign indicates uh, from this lane we can only go left okay if I try to turn left from the second lane here that's gonna be an automatic fail in the driving test the next uh, intersection is uh, let's say there's already one car established uh, in the intersection from your side and if you follow him if you establish behind him that's gonna be a critical error so there should be only one car established in the intersection at a time from your side so for example uh, we are looking at uh, this intersection here now the silver car has a left signal on and the light is green so I before I and there is a sign for the stop line now uh, here's a uh, one mistake I want to point out guys see how far this car is from the yellow line right so he's too close to the white line and he's too far from the yellow line uh, so that's wrong uh, so back to the second uh, critical error so I have to see what uh, what this guy is doing if he stop in the middle of the intersection that means I have to stay behind the stop line if I follow him if I go in the intersection as well that's gonna be a critical error so here he's going in the intersection and there was another truck so he's moving and looks like there's still oncoming traffic so there's white car coming so I know he gonna pretty much stop in the intersection so I slow down I'm waiting behind the stop sign here now after this white car it doesn't look like um, it doesn't look like we have any oncoming traffic coming from that side so now he's moving and now he's gone light is still green so that's when I pull in the intersection okay and intersection is still empty so I just um, clear my uh, clear clear the intersection that time so now uh, let's look at uh, another example um, because a lot of people fail on this so that's why I want to make sure it's very clear um, to you so here right now this uh, van is turning left uh, we are just waiting for the green light the light is red and um, now as soon as the light turns green I have to see what he's doing if he stop in the middle then I stay behind the stop line but if he doesn't stop in the middle then I can follow him now the light is already green so looks uh, look at the traffic on this side looks like the traffic is still quite far and there's no pedestrian crossing so that means uh, he's not going to stop in the middle so he's going and that means I can follow him as well because I already know that he's not gonna stop in the middle of the intersection alright folks I'm just gonna show you one more example of the same uh, critical error the reason is um, because I really want you to pass your driving test okay that's why I'm showing different situations and driving is all about uh, encountering different situations uh, different intersection um, and when you understand all the different situations um, and then everything is very clear in your mind and when you go for your driving test or even like you know your uh, day to day driving when everything is clear in your mind you will make good decisions and you will stay safe on the road and you will pass your driving test very easily as well so here as I'm approaching to the intersection I already see this red car in the middle of the intersection light is still green he has a left signal on so he's standing left so that means I have to stay behind the stop line if I go in the intersection if I follow him that's gonna be an automatic fail now he's going now I if the light is still green and um, then I can start to follow him because he's already pretty much on the other side and I don't see any uh, traffic coming so that means uh, I'm good to go now some intersections will have a traffic light uh, with a four circles in it just um, what we see same thing what we see on this uh, intersection here 
if you see four circles uh, that means there's gonna be a turning signal so the bottom circle is for the turning signal so right now I'm getting a green arrow and if I see a green arrow that means I'm getting the priority I have to uh, I, I, I just go but okay but now at some point this arrow gonna change okay so here's a tricky part now as you are approaching towards the intersection you just have to see if the arrow stays green like this that means there should be no hesitation you should just go through and when you have a green arrow pedestrians should not be crossing see this lady here um, because right now we are we have the priority we are getting a green arrow so that's why she is uh, still waiting on the side now at some point as I said the arrow gonna change so let's look at that example again now let's say as I'm approaching towards the intersection right now I'm still behind the stop line if I see the arrow changes from green to amber at this point that means I have to establish if I have a oncoming traffic on the side or pedestrian uh, who want to cross okay now the other situation will be I see uh, now I see an amber arrow here so now I'm already in the middle of the intersection when I see amber arrow with a green light now this time I can just go through because I'm already in the middle and I'm doing about uh, you know 20 kilometers or 30 kilometers um, my speed uh, then that means I, I, I don't want to slam on the brakes okay so if you see amber arrow and you're still behind the stop line like this amber arrow with a green light that means you establish but if you see amber arrow when you're already in the middle of the intersection that means you just go through very important to understand because a lot of people they actually fail on this a lot of people when they see amber arrow and they are still behind the stop line they don't stop they will just keep going okay and then they get automatic fail and sometimes I see people uh, when they see amber arrow they are already in the middle of the intersection they get panicked they slam on the brakes and uh, they interfere with the traffic behind them and then it also becomes automatic fail so these are all different situations okay uh, right now we are not even talking about the establishing part okay so we we will look at how to establish properly what are the critical errors when you establish okay uh, so right now we are just looking at uh, pretty much uh, as you are driving towards the intersection what could be the different situations and what decisions uh, you need to make based on the situation so now let's uh, look at the critical errors in the establishing part so first I'm just going to show you guys how to establish properly and then we will look at um, the critical errors what what are the common critical errors um, when people establish in the driving test okay so at any point uh, if you're turning left you always have to stay um, on the left side of the intersection if you go on the right side of the intersection that's going to be an automatic fail so a lot of people they like to draw a line this way so that means you want to stay on this side of the intersection this is your side and at the same time you can draw a box here so when you establish at least half of your car should be inside the box okay now this uh, plus sign here represent the middle of the intersection now when you establish you want to stop before the middle of the intersection so you should stop something like this the reason for that is this way like you're staying on your side on the left side and if there's another car who want to turn left they will do exactly same thing they will stay on their side and if you get the opportunity to go first you can go first or if this car gets the opportunity to go first and then uh, this car can go first or you both can go at the same time uh, without interfering uh, with each other so that is the proper way to establish uh, for your left turns now let me show you um, 
what are the common uh, critical errors when people establish because a lot of time they think they have established properly but in reality they did not the first um, critical error is not going too far in the intersection so let's say your stop line is over here so this is your stop line sometimes students they just stop over here they only go a little bit in the intersection like this and they sit here okay you have to claim in the intersection if the light is green you are the first car you have to go a little bit more in the intersection uh, to claim the intersection if you're just sitting here uh, it doesn't like you're not even in the intersection here right so you're uh, as you can see you're still pretty much behind the intersection so that's uh, that's a critical error the second critical error is um, they go too far in the intersection so instead of stopping before the middle of the intersection they would actually stop something like this okay now the problem with this method is uh, you're not leaving any room for this traffic to go left okay if somebody from this side they want to go left they got no space all right because you're pretty much on their sides so you're blocking all the lane and that's why it becomes a critical error the other um, reason if you go too far in the intersection uh, the other mistake is let's say you stop something like this now you're leaving a lot of space behind you and in real life we know there are a lot of impatient drivers uh, who don't follow the rules so somebody else gonna pull in okay now you got like two cars in the intersection and um, now when uh, when the road is clear you are trying to go in the left lane and at the same time this guy is trying to go in the left lane as well then it's not safe anymore okay so that's gonna be automatic fail and uh, you're not leaving any space for this traffic either right so you're blocking this traffic um, so it's not safe at all the other um, wrong way to establish is um, now if you have a uh, okay let me step back for a second if you have a yellow line in the middle of the street okay yellow line when you establish you keep your car straight okay you want to stay on your side you want to stay closer to the yellow line but you're gonna keep your car straight like this okay now if you angle your car so let's say instead of keeping your car straight if you go sideways like this now what's happening is you are actually in the wrong lane you're blocking this oncoming traffic now okay the front end of your car is already on their side um, so that's gonna become automatic fail as well okay so let's look at this situation now now on this intersection we're gonna have a turning signal so right now um, the light is red so we are just waiting for the light to turn green and uh, as I am approaching towards the intersection because I was the third car, uh, fourth car actually, so first car is here, second car, third car, I'm the fourth car, so that means I have to be careful. By the time I get to the intersection, maybe the arrow gonna change from green to amber. Uh, maybe it will stay green, we just have to see. So, so far, I'm right, uh, see the front bumper of my car is right where the stop line is, and looks like the arrow is still green, so that means I'm good to go. We are all already in the middle of the intersection now the arrow is still green and uh, that means uh, we can just uh, go through the intersection. So here we have uh, another example we are turning left again now this street uh, doesn't have any yellow line in the middle so that means we just gonna imagine a yellow line in the middle of the street and we are staying closer to the yellow line. This red car is also turning left so I have to see what he's doing. As you can see, I'm stopping here before the stop line, letting him go first. Uh, he's already moving, the light is still green. I don't have oncoming traffic, there's no pedestrian crossing, so that means I'm good to go. Now this example is um, it's perfect example uh, to show uh, for the busy intersections. So this time, um, 
we are <coughs> going to turn left at the lights and uh, looks like there's already one uh, one actually two cars in the intersection as you can see the light is already red okay so both cars they were established in the intersection so the second car here was wrong and they both are going on a red light now okay uh, because they were both established in the middle of the intersection and this intersection is busy all the time there's a lot of pedestrian traffic a um, lot of cars so right now we are just waiting for the light to turn green and, uh, and when you're waiting for the light to turn green you can already start planning everything look at all the signs uh, observe uh, see how much traffic you have now I see a one-way street sign here see this black sign here black sign on the side that indicates we are turning from a two-way street onto a one-way street now what's that mean that means when I'm turning I need to take my very first uh, lane here okay first available lane the closest lane uh, on the left side now that means uh, when I go in the intersection I'm just gonna go a little bit in the intersection not too far uh, if I go too far in the intersection that means uh, it's gonna force me to take the second lane and let me show you that in a sketch as well so you you can understand what I'm saying here all right uh, so the intersection that we are looking at uh, right now um, it looks something like this okay so we we are on a two-way street all right so this one is a two-way street and uh, this street here is a one-way street going to the left side so that means when I'm when I establish now the middle of the intersection is here but I don't want to go in the middle because otherwise it's gonna force me to um, go in the second lane so if I establish here it's gonna force me to go in the second lane or in the third lane and that's gonna be automatic fail so what I need to do is if I see when I see a one-way um, street sign I just need to go a little bit in the intersection okay just not too far just a little bit in the intersection so I can take my first lane here okay because I need to go into this lane first unless I see a parked car here so let's say if there is a parked car over here right so something like this um, then I can go in the second lane but if the first lane is clear then I always have to go in the first lane first so that's what uh, we are looking at uh, on this intersection here so far there's still a lot of traffic coming the light is still green now uh, if you notice this car is not moving because he doesn't have room on the other side so he doesn't want to block the intersection that's why he stopped over there and um, now this truck is moving so there's still uh, there's still a lot of traffic and when you're watching traffic at the same time you want to look at your traffic light because sometimes uh, your light gonna change first so like right now if you notice the light is already amber but I still got uh, this white car in the middle of the intersection this bus is in the middle of the intersection so that means I still have to wait for them and now now I start moving the light is already red and now I'm start moving and uh, the bus is still in the middle of the intersection so I still have to wait for the bus so here I'm going on a pretty much on a red light as you can see the other traffic already have a green light here and I'm going in the first available lane so sometimes you have to do that and that's why they only want one car in the intersection from your side uh, because you don't know when you're gonna clear the intersection maybe you're going on a green light maybe you're going on a amber light or maybe you're going on a red light it all depends on how much uh, you know how busy the intersection is how much traffic you have so here we are going to turn left again now this one is pretty easy because there was no oncoming traffic and there was no uh, pedestrian crossing so here uh, let's look at another example so we are turning left again and uh, so far the light is green so now I'm going in the intersection so the silver car went uh, because that time the intersection was empty but now when I pull in the intersection I have this uh, oncoming traffic so I have to wait for them and I'm stopping before this divider here as you can see 
Now, as I said, like sometimes your light gonna change first when you're in the intersection. When you see amber light, that time you look at the traffic. If they're slowing down, you can go. But if they don't slow down, then you wait for the red light. And when your light light is red, that's when you have to go. And at that time, your examiner will only wait for you like one second. If he notice you're not doing anything, he gonna ask you to go and that will be a critical error uh, in the test, okay? So if you're hesitating, that's a critical error. If you're rushing yourself, that's a critical error. For example, like let's say, um, now if I don't wait for this car, if I try to go um, before this car, hoping I can make it, um, that's gonna be automatic fail, okay? So let's see what happens here. So we are just waiting. Now there's another car and now look look at the light now. The light went embers and this guy is still in the intersection, okay? So I have to let him go and at the same time I have to see what this red car is doing. Is he going to stop? Is he slowing down? If I notice he's slowing down, that means uh, he will stop and I can clear the intersection. But if he doesn't slow down, that means I still have to wait for him. And this silver car on this side here is turning left, so I don't, uh, I don't like he's not going to interfere with me, so I don't need to worry too much about him. See the red car? Look at the red car. Okay, it did not stop. Did not stop. Okay, it did not slow down at all. Very important point, guys. Okay, this is your observation. So let's uh, let's watch that again. Okay light went amber okay now this guy is off pretty much already in the intersection so we know he's not going to stop okay because he's already past the stop line but look look at the red car here okay no did not even slow down okay see now my light is already red and when I see that red light I have to go right way okay I gotta leave the intersection right way because now the other traffic gonna get a green light so this uh, this light gonna change to green pretty soon and if I don't go then uh, the cross traffic here they won't be able to go and then I will get um, automatic fail there because I'm interfering with the traffic all right so here as you can see I'm leaving right way all right uh, so we're gonna look at uh, one more example here so right now the light is red so now the light is green I'm the first car that means I have to establish myself and uh, now uh, when I'm in the middle of the intersection I'm observing traffic traffic light pedestrians on the sidewalk there and if I see a big opening between the traffic so see after this car uh, the next car is uh, too far so that means I need to leave uh, I need to clear the intersection that time if I don't do that that's gonna become hesitation and if I'm hesitating uh, too much hesitation is uh, automatic fear all right uh, so the next uh, critical error uh, on the left turn is if you fail to yield to pedestrians so right now let's say fail to yield to pedestrians or oncoming traffic so I got this oncoming traffic here now pedestrian on the side already crossed but like let's say if I don't um, wait for the pedestrian or if I don't fit, wait for the oncoming traffic um, that's gonna be automatic fail the next uh, critical error is um, your speed so you are going too fast uh, for the conditions so if you're going too fast that means uh, you might lose control over the car and if you're going too slow that means you're gonna create interference with the traffic uh, and then that becomes uh, automatic fail so now let's uh, let's look at this example again so this is a very good example here see how I establish in the middle of the intersection I'm observing traffic now I see amber light but look at the cars here they are like super far from the stop line so that means they will stop okay and uh, that means uh, they will stop and I can start moving and if I don't do that uh, that's gonna become hesitation and hesitation is uh, automatic fail uh, the next uh, critical error is uh, going in the wrong lanes so after your turns you always go in your first lane first so for example here if I show you this one more time here 
after my left turn uh, I'm going in the left lane if I go in the right lane here that's gonna be a critical error okay so you always go in the lane that's on the right side of the yellow line or uh, or the divider and <coughs> and after that you can change lane if you have to the next um, critical error is uh, you're trying to go when it's not uh, your right of way so what I mean by that is let's say you establish in the intersection and now uh, you see uh, one car is turning right okay so this car has a right signal on and then you start moving at the same time okay now technically this car has a right of way and we don't know even uh, if you have two lanes here we don't know which lane he gonna go into now by the rules yes he's supposed to be turning in the right lane first but we know in real life people don't quite follow the rules and a lot of time they go in the far lane so maybe he's, he's turning into this lane here and if you are going into this lane as well um, that's gonna inter that means you're interfering with that car um, that's gonna be a critical error so if you are turning left and somebody else is turning right and they don't have a yield sign that means uh, they get the right of way now the next uh, critical error is uh, you are turning left and someone else is turning right but they do have a yield sign so let's uh, draw that so let's say there is a yield sign on this side so we have a yield here something like this uh, middle of the intersection here okay so you are turning left so you establish now there's one car coming from this side and this car has a right signal on and they have a yield sign so that means they are going this way and that means now you got the right of way because they have a yield sign so they have to wait for you and if you let them go first okay so if you hesitate um, that's then it's gonna become a critical error so definitely a lot of um, information in this video so definitely you need to uh, watch this video at least uh, three four times to absorb all the information a uh, lot of uh, critical errors and different uh, situations uh, that you know I was pointing out in this video and there will be a lot more videos um, I will keep uploading more videos as I go through uh, different situations so yeah just uh, keep watching and um, I will see you guys again.